Good morning, friends. Today I'm going to be making what uh, I am calling the get to the point purse. And uh, this is the, pur the purse that's displayed on the screen. And also there is a corresponding back panel for it. Uh, and I'm doing, uh, if you want both pieces, both designs, it's uh, $5 for both. And uh, that'll run through the end of 2020. Uh, but that's out of the way. And I have run the first uh, uh, step in the uh, front design, which is the uh, outline of the bag along with the zipper area placement. And so now I'm going to take the hoop off the machine and go to the cutting table so I can put the zipper on. So I'll meet you over there. Well, I am at the cutting table and ready to put the zipper on. And of course, the uh, thread I'm using is the same color as a paper towel, which is what I use as stabilizer. But, <coughs> excuse me, you're going to center if it's a one inch zipper, number three zipper, which most number three zippers are one inch, if you'll put the side of the zipper up against the exterior line, and then the other side of the zipper will be on this line, and the center part right here is the uh, where it will be stitching the zipper down. So it should be, if it's one inch, it should be centered right between here where you see these runway I call it which is where these lines here are where the zipper will be tacked down at so let me put it on and uh, tape it down and I'll be back in a moment okay you can see I have taped the zipper on and I'll take it back to the machine for the tack down of the zipper so I'll be back in a moment okay you can see that the zipper has been tacked down so the next thing we'll do is turn the hoop over and take our first lining piece, this pretty blue, and place it face down where the edge of the fabric will be right at the edge of this line here because where it will be stitching is this line up here. So that's a quarter of an inch uh, difference uh, between the two lines. So. Let's take and line that up and get make sure we're covered on both sides, which we are. And I'm going to tape it down. Okay. And then we're going to just pick it up and let it roll. Roll over to the front, <clears throat> and let me get a piece of tape ready, and we're just going to fold this over a time or two, and, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, my allergies are horrible, and then tape that down like that, and then we're going to take our front piece, which is about one of the two front pieces actually which is a piece of fabric called Tatiana, classically home by uh, Marianne Elizabeth, and I think it's for RJR Fabrics, very pretty roses. Uh, at least I think they're roses. Uh, so we're going to take and place that face down <clears throat> in the same manner as the back lining piece. Just have it cover right the edge of the zipper. Tape it down. Okay, and I'm going to take this to the embroidery machine and it's going to stitch right as I was showing you right across here. So I'll be right back. All right, the front has been tacked down as you can see, and let me just make sure I always look at the back just to make sure it's yes, it's fine because occasionally something will uh, go wrong, but in this case it didn't. 
And what we're going to do now is take a piece of whatever you're using for batting. And of course, I never remember to do it while I'm off camera. And uh, I'm going to take and place a piece of batting about a quarter inch under the stitch line. And uh, this, this piece should be six by 11 as opposed to every other piece of fabric and batting, which would be seven by 11 for a six by 10 hoop. So let me trim an inch off of this piece and I'll be right back. All right, I have placed that. As you can see, it's about a quarter of an inch underneath the uh, stitch line and I'm gonna pull the main fabric down. Uh, okay. Pat it down nicely and on the way back over to the embroidery machine, I'm gonna take it by the iron and press it so we have a nice crease right here, right there where it's joined at the zipper. So I'll, uh, and the next thing that will be run is a uh, stitch that will, the step will stitch right along here and just tack this front down because then we're going to be starting the uh, satin stitching and uh, I like to have it nice and to know that it's secure this front piece so let me do that and I'll run that next step and then I'll be back. Now as you can see this front piece has been tacked down and the next step is the placement step for uh, the uh, satin stitches so let me run that and uh, I'll be right back all right you can see just barely the uh, placement stitch for the uh, piece of applique fabric and what I'm going to be using is not fabric but this pretty um, faux leather and so I'm just going to place it right here, just like that, just covering the design. And then I'm going to uh, go and uh, go do the next step, which uh, will be the actual uh, uh, sewing down of this particular piece of vinyl. So let me do that and uh, I'll be right back. All right, you can see that the tack down has occurred and I'm going to go now and sit at my kitchen counter and I'm going to trim this vinyl and which will remove this, be on this side of the stitches, I'm going to, which will remove this piece here. And this is gonna go in my scrap pile because I always uh, need little pieces to make my attachment uh, points or anchors for uh, the bags, the purses. So anyhow, I'm going to let me do that and I'll come back when I've finished and show you what that looks like. All right, you can see I have removed this top portion here and this is how it should look. I just uh, started right here and cut right across there as, as you see. And uh, so now, okay. The next thing that will happen is that, I, as you can see, I've done the trimming and the next thing that will occur is the satin stitching. So let me go and run the satin stitching and I'll be back momentarily. All right, as you can see, the satin stitching is complete now and the next step will be to run uh, the quilting. And I'm going to, uh, the next step is the quilting on the top and uh, as is my general practice when I have a beautiful piece of fabric I don't like to detract from its beauty with uh, just with intricate quilting so I'm going to skip the next step and go to the following step which will do the crisscross part on the uh, vinyl and so let me do that I'll run that and then I'll be back and show you what that looks like. All right, the quilting is completed or has completed and uh, you can see it's just a crisscross, but I think it looks very nice. It's uh, in its simplicity, it has beauty. So 
let me then the next thing that the next step step, step number 10 will be uh, taking this tape off and letting uh, the lining fall to the back and uh, uh, well I'll show you that let me go over to the cutting table hold on okay I'm here at the cutting table and I'm going to remove the piece of tape holding this piece of lining and let the lining fall to the back side and I'm going to take and smooth it down and let me remove these also on the sides uh, okay so let this uh, smooth this down and then tape it right here where my finger is and over here on this side also so I'm going to do that and then I'll run the next uh, step which will basically tack this down that's its purpose so I'll be right back all right you can see the back uh, the lining here on the back of the hoop has been tacked down and now the next thing we're going to do is go back to the front of the hoop and take off uh, this piece of tape here holding down the zipper originally. Okay. And we're going to take and open the zipper. About two thirds of the way. And I'm going to take my little attachments for the uh, cross uh, body bag and uh, place them. I place them about oh, an inch in or so. That's not quite an inch. It's probably three quarters of an inch. And I'm going to tack it down at the top. And also tack the metal down so it doesn't uh, get somewhere it shouldn't. And now we're going to take and put our uh, what's going to be our back piece. And uh, here I'm going to just put it face down. Make sure you are covering the design and make sure that you ha are covered uh, at the top, that you cover the zipper by at least a quarter of an inch. As you can see, I am past the zipper. And then take your the other piece of batting and place it. Uh, on uh, down here uh, on top of what you have just placed uh, and then we're going to take and it will stitch this entire uh, all of this close basically closing the purse up so let me go and do that and I'll be right back okay uh, that uh, I ran the step I think it was 11 and it tacked it all the way tacked it down all the way around and then the last step 12 is, uh, I believe it's 12, is the second piece of lining, which you should have just that left. Take and uh, put it face down and cover, make sure you're covering the bottom, the sides, and at least, as I say, a quarter inch above the zipper so you can see the lines for the zipper, and I'm quite a bit above that. So tape this down on all four corners. Now I'll do that again, and uh, then take it and uh, run the last step, and I'll meet you back here in a moment. All right, the sewing is now complete. The uh, last piece of lining has been sewn down, and uh, what that did was just leave me a, a space here to turn the bag through. And uh, anyhow, I'm going to take it out of the hoop and I'm going to trim around, starting here, a quarter inch around all sides and end up at this point right here where the sewing stops. And when I get to that point, 
Uh, well, I'll show you that. I'll let me cut this first, and then I'll show what happens then. All right, you can see I have trimmed it as I said I was going to, and here I just angled in this direction these pieces uh, up uh, that are at the bottom of the bag. What we're going to do now is take both of these uh, lining pieces, pull them back, and then take your scissors and just cut whatever is remaining, which is all of this rest of this bag. Just cut it right just uh, above, quarter inch above the uh, fabric here, the lining fabric. So do that and uh, I'll see you in a moment. Okay, I have removed that uh, excess fabric and such. So now I'm going to take and uh, turn the bag through here and then I'll be right back. Okay, I've turned the bag out for the first time. We'll turn it one more time in a moment. But you can see uh, what you should be seeing is your lining pieces on both sides. So I'm going to take this shorter of the two pieces of lining and fold it in. And press it. And then I'm going to take this piece and uh, fold it in. Well, I'll have to do this off camera and I'm going to press it also and then I will when that's done, I'll take it to the sewing machine and then sew it closed from this area along the bottom that uh, is not stitched. And I'll do that and I'll be back in a moment. All right, you can see that I have sewn the bottom shut. The last thing to do before we turn it out for the final time is to remove the uh, whatever stabilizer you've used from across the zipper. So mine will come off, should come off pretty easy since it's just paper towels. So I'm going to do that, and then I'm going to turn the bag out through the zipper, and uh, I'll show you the finished product in a moment. And one note, I forgot to mention anything about the little uh, pieces that I use for the connectors for the crossbody straps or straps in general. Uh, usually I use grow green ribbon uh, and use cut it three inches wide and I stick the little metal piece in between it and then staple the two ends together so they don't move. Uh, today I had some uh, excess um, uh, vinyl, so I had cut the vinyl three inches long by three quarter inches wide, and then I fold it and I put the uh, metal ring inside and then staple it at the top. And the staple is way out of the stitch area, so there's no issue with it getting caught. Uh, as you saw that it, uh, you know, at that point in this video, you saw how far that was above the bag itself. So let me remove the paper towel here and uh, I'll show you the finished product in a moment. I did want to make a note. Uh, I said that there is a back panel that goes with this uh, purse and uh, I did not make it, but you may wish to. And I didn't include the instructions uh, because I've already done that in uh, this video here, a shoulder pads purse, including back panel tutorial. So that's on my YouTube channel. Uh, and I will try to remember to put a link to that in uh, the comments announcing this uh, get to the point bag. But anyhow, uh, I just want to make that uh, addition and now I'm going to finish the bag. Uh, and I'm going to press it so it looks nice, and I'll be back in a minute. All right, the purse is finished. Put my little tassel on. I think it's just as cute as can be. I hope uh, you like it too, and I hope you've enjoyed watching me make this. Uh, I always enjoy making my videos and showing folks how I do these. And uh, if you buy the pattern, get to the point purse. I hope that you'll make something beautiful for yourself or for your loved ones and friends. So anyhow, that's it for today, and I'll be back the next day or two with hopefully another design, another video. Thank you so much again for watching. Have a good day. Bye-bye.